Uh, it, it is really a, a great honor for me to um, be awarded this Hayek Prize. Um, I value it greatly. I thank the Manhattan Institute and Tom Smith for his, for his vision on this, the, the committee uh, indeed. Uh, I thank uh, all the people involved in publishing this book uh, at Norton and, and elsewhere. Um, and I say it's especially a privilege to be asked to give this lecture. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to talk about a different aspect of uh, Hayek's work, the work that's related to the rule of law, uh, more generally policy rules. Paul mentioned a little bit about that. And the importance of predictability in government policy. Um, I've been interested in that subject for a long time, but probably for a more narrow economic reason, because I basically think those kinds of policies work better. They lead to a better economy, to more prosperity. And as I'll try to talk about uh, here, Hayek had a much broader interpretation of rule of law, policy rules, et cetera, which uh, I think is very important today as we think about uh, where we're going. So let me start uh, talking a little bit about this book, First Principles. Uh, it starts with the fact that the American economy is just not doing very well. That's pretty obvious. We, our growth rate is just 1.9 percent, the most recent data. Uh, unemployment is very high, long-term unemployment uh, astronomically high. We've just gone through a deep financial crisis and a very serious recession. And the recovery is, by any definition, uh, unprecedentedly weak compared to American history. Uh, so we got a problem here. And, and also, as, as Paul mentioned uh, in his introduction, our debt is exploding. In my view, looking at this and thinking of alternative explanations, I think the problem is policy. And the way I put it simply is that policy has deviated from the basic principles of economic freedom. Now, if I were he would be saying, tell us what you mean about, what do you mean by economic freedom, Taylor? But what I mean is the situation where individuals, families uh, decide what to buy, what to produce. Uh, they decide uh, where they will work. They decide how they're going to help other people. But they do this within a framework. It's kind of the American vision, if you like. And that, that framework is, involves five things. One, predictable policy. Two, rule of law. Three, a, a reliance on markets, which generates four good incentives. And five, a limited role of government. And when you think about America, those five principles have pretty much defined the country since its founding. And I think that's why it's done well. That's why so many people have come here and how so many people have done well by coming here. And we're certainly, over the long span of time, much better than any other country. Hayek wrote a lot about these issues. Of the five principles I mentioned, the first two, remember, were rule of law and, and policy rules, predictable policy. Uh, the others were markets and incentives and limited role for government. Um, I think there's been too little placed on those first two items when we think about what we need to do, rule of law and predictable policy. But they were big deal. They were a big deal for Hayek. He wrote about them all over the place. And I have a few quotes. Um, I see you have a copy of um, Road to Serfdom in front of you. Um, Here's what he said about rule of law and policy rules. Nothing distinguishes more clearly conditions in a free country from those in a country under arbitrary government than the observance in the former of the great principles known as the rule of law. Stripped of all technicalities, this means that government in all its actions is bound by rules fixed and announced beforehand rules which make it possible to foresee with fair certainty how the authority will use its coercive powers in given circumstances and to plan one's individual affairs on the basis of this knowledge. So let me just uh, summarize and sit down and maybe take some questions. I think this is a serious time we're in now. Um, and, uh, but as I've tried to argue, it's a serious time that we can handle, we can deal with this. And I actually have faith that we will be able to deal with it. But let's not fool ourselves, it's very hard. And, and, and better, some, some people are betting against us. But I think we can do it. But the more I think about it, 
And the more I compare things that economists have done in the pure, narrow economics field, and how much more powerful the arguments come if you broaden it and think of it in the more philosophical ways beyond economics that I did, the more I can see is how we can do much better if we let Hayek help us. Thank you very much.